What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an installation video. And this video, it, it's not so much for the old timers, okay? I mean, if you've been out here on the road for 25 years like I have, then you're already going to know what I'm going to be teaching in this video. Uh, today, I'm going to do an installation video, and it's more for the new guys, the new guys that just got through, done with their training, they just got their truck for the first time, especially this Peterbilt. I got a 2021 Ultraloft Peterbilt, and um, it could be confusing to them, you know. So today's video is going to be how to install a CB radio, specifically in a 2021 Peterbilt Ultraloft. Um, I'm going to be installing this bad boy right here. Minus that mic, I got a Rode King 56 mic, Chrome. Um, this radio I bought brand new, it's brand spanking new. I bought it from a CB shop, I ordered it online, and they've already peaked and tuned it, they added echo board, you know, all the stuff to it. It, it walks and talks, okay? Um, I can't install, I can't install my other radio because my other radio puts out 140 watts and it's, I can't hook it up to CB leads up there. If I wanted to hook it up, I'd have to uh, add some 10 gauge wire and run it down to my batteries and I don't want to do that in this truck. So, my next truck that I buy I didn't buy this truck, this is just a regular lease. Next truck I buy, I'll install that other radio. Cause it puts out there. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna pop this, um, this piece off, okay? Cause your CB is going in there. So you gotta pull this thing off. It's just held in by clips. Just pull on it, it'll pop right out. Just like that. Just pop it off. Just put it on the side. There. Okay. Then you're gonna see this box right here. Where this box is sitting on this tray right here. Okay. This is your coax cable for your CB. So all you do is just pop that tray. Just lift up on it. Okay. Trying to do this one-handed. <laughs> okay. Well, you might need two hands for this. Hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'll start filming again. All right, once you pop it loose, just pull it out. Now, uh, once you pull it out, Let me show you what it looks like. Show you what it looks like. You're gonna to wanna to clean up the wires, straighten them up. After you take this plate off, you're gonna to wanna to pull the CB tray out and maybe clean up your wires because the installation guy who installed all this, he didn't care. He just installed it. I mean, I had, I had wires crisscrossing and whatnot, so I took them apart and untwisted them and then I zip tied this is my Bendix system and I zip tied them you can see all the zip ties all together so it just makes one strand I got one strand here I got one cable here and they're all separated they're they're nice and organized and that's what you're going to want to do once you uh 
take this off and then pour the CB tray off. Because the CB is going right here. All right, everything is zip tied, everything is ready to go. Now let's install the CB. I also got this since I installed this a while back, but I'm gonna clean it up. This is powering my GPS, my iPad, and my dash cam. And it's hooked into the, uh, the CB power leads right here. So, we're gonna install the CB right here. But what you're gonna do, wanna do first, okay? Now I also, I don't know if you see, I already pre-installed the uh, power wire cable for the CB and I put ring connectors on it and I installed it to the back of the ground and the positive. Because I've already got wires going in through that little hole on the other side. It just makes for a cleaner install and it gets better power. It's cleaner. So, but what you want to do, this is the cable for your external speaker. You want to put it through underneath the strap here. You want to take your power cable and put it through as well and the coax cable well we can't this is too low to you want to put that through as well um, let me do all that and I'll show you what the CB looks like because you're, you're gonna put the CB through the strap and it's gonna be resting right on this little plate okay I got the CB in there Nice little CB. Sorry, I'm holding this in one hand. Um, it's nice and flat. And then what you want to do is you want to push it uh, back in there. And I want to need two hands for that. So you're going to have to wiggle, jiggle to get it to fit in there because they got all these freaking wires in here. So let me do that and I'll show you the the end result and then after you install it you put it all back together put your microphone hook your microphone up this is a four pin got a chrome uh, roking 56 it's a flex chrome flex spike but anyway that's what it looks like let's turn it on let's test it out So there you go. My lights up blue to match my truck. As you can see, I also have a custom faceplate on it. It's the American flag. Everything is blue. Channel selector is blue. The signal strength is blue. Everything lights up blue. Real nice. That's how you install a CB radio in a 2021 Peterbilt Ultra Loft. Well, there you go. Very easy, very simple to install. Uh, you might have to do a little prep before you install it, like I, like what I had to do. Um, I had to clean up some wires, zip tie them to, to keep them from getting tangled up and separating them and just getting them organized. And once you do all that, installation goes by fast. It's simple, it's clean. There you go. So anyway, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I put a video out. 
Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.